fish, folks. We are uh, have Miss Sandy Moore here. You it's, may recognize her. It's good to be home. <laughs> <laughs> we had to come back in, get our feet wet, smell the fish building because yeah, because nothing smells better than a fish fish room in the morning. I love it. I love how bleach smells on the floor. <laughs> I love the sounds of us packing out, of uh, of everybody being back at work, yes. and packing out fish and getting fish out to the retailers next to you. Woohoo! So I know it's been a bit long since we've been on here. Uh, everyone's staying safe out there. Businesses yeah. have to adapt. Um, yes. To the current situation. They've been really creative too. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hello, Callum and Thomas. Hi, Thank Callum. you for joining. RJ, hello. How Hi are there. You doing? Ooh, we miss you guys. <laughs> Woo. We're going to get in trouble. I know. We're going to keep our, Sorry. <laughs> our beauty mess on, right? We love you too. <laughs> and we've missed interacting with everybody. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. So today I am, um, <laughs> I'm redecorating my tank in my office because because I have time <laughs> right? and it needs it. It really, really desperately needs it. So how have you guys been supporting your uh, your local fish stores? Uh, Michael, Anybody? thank you. We'll have to tell Kevin that thank you very much for uh, hanging in there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we know we've had to be a little bit yeah. uh, kind of creative on, uh, you know, stores letting you uh, still contact them. You know, and it's yeah. really important for your community to be supported by you guys. So we're curious to hear, you know, what stores have out there been, you know, just been that support? What stores have been your heroes yeah. uh, through this and how have they been doing that? Hello, girls. Nice to see you Hi. guys and George. We miss you guys. Artie, Art, Art, we miss there. you. <laughs> we get all excited as a fish thing. I know, I know. I know. <laughs> So feel free as you're watching this, you know, to comment, you know, shout out to your local stores. If you, uh, you put an at symbol and actually tag them in this, because we really want those guys that have been the heroes in your community. Yeah. Uh, well, look at that. My seat from the Germany. Yeah, we want to show them some love. Yes. Yes. <laughs> Hello, Tim. Nice to see you. Awesome. Look at this. this so cool. Oh, how we fun. miss you guys. Oh, holy cow. Could use a little Mosquito advice. Mosquito management. Um. Okay, <laughs> I don't even know where to start that. Most most fish eat mosquito larvae, yes. so so gambusia are not the only fish that you can use to uh, to help control your mosquitoes. Yep, you can even do a uh... Melissa. We <laughs> miss you, hi, hey. Melissa. <laughs> Look at all Sorry. of our fishy Sorry, my bad. My bad. Oh oh oh. <laughs> <laughs> We're working on this. You know, we both know. have really nice makeup on under these masks, and it's going to be yeah. A... My lipstick looks fantastic <laughs> it underneath does. Of this. <laughs> <laughs> it's excellent. Yeah. Aww. We love you too, Melissa. We miss you. I can't wait to see you and give you a hug. Actually, yeah, in person. Hug. Hey, Sven. Oh, hello, Sven. Hello, Norway. <laughs> Look at this. Levi, Levi, hey. Levi is great. He has a YouTube channel. He is a budding hobbyist. Uh, if you have not checked out his YouTube channel, you should. I know you can't yeah. hear me over his uh, announcement here. Hang on just a yeah. second. Yep, we are still working. We are exactly. working. We're packing a lot of fish today. All the we're packing all the fish that we can get in. It is challenging yes. right now because the limited number of flights um, internationally. But we are very fortunate to be in the middle of the fish farming uh, capital of North America. So we have Florida <laughs> fish coming out of our ears, and I am so grateful for that yes. and for all those farmers who've stuck with us. Absolutely. So we are curious. Spin, I know. <laughs> <laughs> you know so I see you. It's, we're just ninjas. That's all. It's our secret thing. Oh, fish ninjas. Yes, I like it. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> Excellent. So we have uh, quite a few fish behind us. As Sandy was saying, you know, we have some imports. We also have a fantastic selection of Florida raised fish that are hanging out in the sunshine, getting those tans. And let me tell you, the rainbows right now. Oh, oh my. my gosh, they're so nice, those <laughs> Bosmanis that you put oh, in your tank. Oh, yes. They're ridiculous. <laughs> they're, I actually, they're nice. Yeah. I kind of yeah. want some. You should get some. I know. Take but it. I like the little blue eyes. I yes. like the Sid Moguls a lot. So how have you guys been faring? Have you been going out, you know, and reaching out to your pet stores? Even if you can't go, it's a great time to talk to them, build that relationship. You know, if you're thinking about something different you've never tried, this is the time to call them. They have yep. time to walk you through a different species, something, yep. you know, new you haven't done before. Levi, how's the farm? So Levi, the we have it. The farm is great. Actually, the farm is great. Yeah. We have all of our people 
back to work. We are almost almost at full time this week, and I am really proud of of the effort that everybody has gone into um, keeping the farm going. Definitely. We've done a uh, a lot of cleaning, a lot of work, as, <laughs> as expected, um, but been able to keep everybody, and I'm super, super grateful for that. Yes, very much so. It really, you know, we pulled together as a community, and not just that, but as a family, because really and truly, that's how this company is run, mm -hmm. is how it was built. Um, so, you know, we all got creative, and we all are helping each other with these positions, so it truly is And we're getting in the way of people oh that are working, so we're gonna move around here. <laughs> She's like, hey, you need to move, these fish are going out. <laughs> Well, excellent. We just want to kind of give yeah. a shout out. We have some great fish behind us and great fish that are going out to your local pet stores. As your pet stores are opening, we highly encourage you to do what you can. Uh, you yeah. know, my parents even brought up, they're actually going to purchase gift cards right now because they're going oh, to nice. buy pet food later on throughout the year. Nice. They're going to get the gift cards now so it supports their local store, even That's though good. they may not use it till October yeah. or November. It's yeah. just kind of generating that revenue back into those stores. So when you do need them, uh, that they're going to be there. Yeah. So, so you want to look at some fish? We do want to look at some fish. Oh my goodness. Okay. So I don't know how to do this. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> sorry. Oh sorry. I just gave everybody whiplash. I'm really sorry. <laughs> Hello, George. Thank you for hopping in here. So let's see. And here we've got some flower horn tickles. Oh my goodness. They I'm are Chuck Davis's <laughs> favorite. <laughs> they are a Chuck Davis. <laughs> they are. This is here. Oh another great Florida bred fish. Geophagus Balzani. If you have not seen this fish uh, fully grown, you definitely, we have some photos up. We actually take them to several shows because our local farmers will give us some of their uh, big breeders to display. Uh, and that is just a great fish. You know, I'd say 55 gallons on up, gorgeous fish to own. Yeah. And up here we have oh, yeah. bruisers. I mean, they're babies, they're babies. <laughs> but in a few months, in a few months, they're gonna whip everything. Yeah, man. They are um, Managuen cichlids native to Central America and I saw some in the wild when I went with Art Parola last so year. Cool. Was awesome. <laughs> Down here. More bruisers. <laughs> more bruisers. These are uh these are so I don't even know how to describe them. They're like they're just they're kind of evil. <laughs> yeah, yeah, even at this size. Look this push. This is my sphere of water. Right. They're <laughs> doe bicyclids. And these get to be, these are a larger Central American cichlid, so definitely not for for a small tank. You'd want to have at least 100 gallons, I'm thinking, at least. to grow these to full size. Yeah. And there's a lot of people that show you some full grub ones. You know, Scott McLaughlin, King and Queen Cichlids. If you want to see some big bruisers, check out his YouTube page because he has some really great videos. He has some Freddies, he has some Dovi. This is definitely a fish up his alley. But it's yep. really neat to see these guys full grown. Chris, the Matacorius Biggs, definitely has some great uh, fish on yes. his channel too. Yes, he does. So if you want to see him full grown, check those Let's guys out. Let's see what else we have. <laughs> we have. Ooh, that's a rusty whistle. Calvini. Right <laughs> that has a tank Rusties. that needs to get clean. <laughs> <laughs> And one of my favorite things about the Salvini, I know it's my favorite thing on all of them, is that both of them get really brilliant colors. Uh, so when they're in spawning dress, they get, you know, just a gorgeous rainbow of red, yeah. yellow, green, blue. It's hard to describe. Yeah, they're beautiful fish. Yeah. And what's fascinating is that each location is a little bit uh, color variant different. And so we'll move down here. Oh, I love these. <laughs> Underestimate I love by far. these. Rock curbs are great. This is a fantastic little African, and they, look at that color on them already. So the females have that beautiful golden yellow. There's a pretty little male down here. Hi, buddies. Oh my gosh, you're so sticky. I here. know. <laughs> fantastic. And so this is a Victorian species, right? Yes. So in the wild, are they still in existence in Lake Victoria, or you know, are they threatened? That's something I'd have to check out maybe, to see if they're. Maybe Sven would know, and he would let us know. Hey, okay, Sven. <laughs> We need to hear your, uh, your wisdom on that one. And then I don't know anything about this. You know, this is one I'm not familiar with a whole lot. So perhaps I need a cichlid nerds out there. It. <laughs> <laughs> you can tell us about, this is a red islanthum cichlid. So I don't know a ton about this critter. I know it gets some beautiful turquoise and some red flecking on it. But really, truly, this is out of my wheelhouse. I, yep. I need to expand my horizons. There you go. This is a great one to reach out to your pet store. Ask about fish you don't know about and see if it's a fish for your tank or heck, get another tank. That's kind of what we do. More tanks. Yeah, more tanks. Yes. <laughs> Talk in my language. You don't need a couch. No, this oh, yes. Bolivian rams. 
and the good old Florida condensation right here. <laughs> yep. It is about 100% humidity <laughs> and ha having a room full of fish doesn't really help that. <laughs> the Bolivians are great of all the rams. These guys get a good four inches on them, but still remain pretty flaccid. So for, you know, a 29 gallon to have a singular one or a 40 gallon to have a pair of them uh, and bigger tanks, even groups of them. This is just a really great cichlid uh, for those dwarf community tanks, semi-aggressive tanks. You can see the color on them uh, and they're definitely inquisitive. So great fish. Yeah. I know. What else is there? Oh, I'll buy okay. Parrot there out. And now we're over in oh. Africa. That's what we did. Let's Hi, honey. Look at you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're just <laughs> taking you on a trip around the globe here. So here we have some Totomayas, Taiwan reefs. This is uh, the albino. Really, I think they are leucistic. I'd have to actually kind of look that up because they do have black eyes. Yeah, they eyes. have black eyes. <laughs> yep. Uh, but in the industry, they are definitely known as albinos. Uh, they kind of remind me of an Easter egg when they grow up. They get a powder blue face, a bright yellow body, uh, and they tend to be a little more placid than their uh, standard color counterparts. So great fish yeah. for a big African tank. Man, we could just go on all day. I know, I know. <laughs> There's 6,000 tanks. <laughs> all, all right, right. <laughs> we're back. <laughs> So we won't keep you all day and we know you guys have stuff to do, uh, homework to do with your kiddos, but definitely yeah. reach out to your pet store. You know, we'd love to hear your stories. We'd love to hear who's been your hero at this time. So share your stories with us and share your love for fish with us. Yeah. We love you guys. Thanks for supporting your LFS. Bye.